What is up guys, Dollar in a Dream coming at you with another video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys why I've recently started to give Facebook Marketplace a lot more love and attention than I've been given to eBay in the past. So it's come to my realization that we really need to start focusing in on Facebook Marketplace. I came to this realization last year when I saw they were offering 0% fees on all sales through the end of 2020. Honestly, I didn't pay too much attention to it like I should have and it's really starting to grow on me that Facebook Marketplace Marketplace's sales fees are way lower than eBay and we need to take advantage of that. Let's get right into the video and I'm going to be listing a bunch of pros, cons, and just topics I want to talk about when it comes to Facebook Marketplace versus eBay and why I am primarily switching to Facebook Marketplace, but I'm not completely getting rid of eBay yet. So getting into the pros of Facebook Marketplace, the biggest one, you know, the real game changer here is that they offer a flat 5% fee on any sales that are made on Facebook Marketplace through their shipping option. And if it's sold locally, it's no fees at all. Now this is a real game changer because eBay typically charges 10% fees on all items. And then on top of that 10%, they charge a 2.9% processing fee plus I think it's like 30 cents well, I did the math on most of my listings and it ends up being like 13 and a half percent in fees on most of my listings so that's like a huge difference from Facebook marketplace to eBay if you're selling something worth 200 bucks eBay is gonna charge you like $27 while Facebook marketplace is only gonna charge you 10 bucks and that's an extra $17 in your pocket from a $200 sale so another reason I really want to start focusing in on Facebook marketplace is it cross posts all of your listings with low local and shipping. Now if you only want to post something for shipping and for some reason you don't feel like posting it locally, you don't have to use the local feature on Facebook Marketplace. You can post it for shipping only. So don't think that you have to post it locally if it's posted on Facebook Marketplace. You can do either or, but I think it's a great thing that you can post it locally and shipping all in the same option. So that way if someone wants to come pick it up, you don't gotta pay any fees, you don't gotta wait for your payment from Facebook Marketplace. You just get it said and done that day and it's over with. Another thing that I like about Facebook Marketplace is the quick and easy listings. So when it comes down to it, making a listing on Facebook Marketplace is much simpler than making a listing on eBay. So making a listing on eBay really isn't hard, but there is more steps to it when it comes to listing on eBay than there is when listing on Facebook Marketplace. With Facebook Marketplace, you can just open up the app and snap a picture, title it, put your price, put a description, and boom, you're ready to go. And also another thing about it is they offer a prepaid shipping label. So when you're making your listing, all you have to do is click, okay, my, my item weighs this much and it'll automatically charge the buyer that much for shipping and it'll give you a label and you don't have to worry about going through to the post office and seeing how much it costs. If you know you can get a better shipping rate than what Facebook is advertising, then feel free to go ahead and click the use my own shipping label option and you can charge a custom amount for shipping rather than make Facebook charge what they were gonna charge to ship your product. Or if your product is outside of like the uh, weight limit or dimensions that Facebook Marketplace has set for items. Another thing that I like about Facebook Marketplace is that after you've chosen your price and your shipping, it gives you an estimated payout, like what you're gonna receive for this item after shipping and any Facebook fees. So that's a lot better than eBay. eBay it gets really annoying when let's say you sell something for $300 and you're guessing, okay, I might get what, 270. And then at the end of the month, not even instantly, you have to pay them what ends up being about like $40. So maybe you got less money than you expected you were going to get, or you just completely forgot that you owe them $40 at the end of the month. So things like that can get annoying with eBay and Facebook Marketplace has definitely solved that problem by just taking their cut at the front of it and they don't send you an invoice at the end of the month like eBay does and they give you an estimated payout before you even list your product. And the last thing I really have to say as a pro for Facebook Marketplace is that Facebook has way more users than eBay. I believe Facebook has about 4 billion users. I'm not gonna say they're all active. And while listing with Facebook Marketplace, it is only going to be the United States that you are listing to. But even with just the United States, they have way more active users on Facebook than there is on eBay. I'm not sure if all the users of Facebook are actively looking around on Facebook Marketplace, but it's definitely been growing in the past, and I believe it will continue to grow. And honestly, I would not be surprised if one day Facebook Marketplace 
takes over eBay. That is if eBay doesn't make some major changes to um, compete with Facebook Marketplace. Now there are a couple cons to Facebook Marketplace I want to mention. It's nothing crazy, but uh, when selling bulk items, like let's say you have a hundred of a certain product, it's not super easy to use their quantity option. I had to Google it and mess around. You have to use their computer or desktop version to uh, list quantities of a product. It's nothing crazy, but that is like a little con that, that had me um, confused for a little bit when trying to list several of the same product and then uh, also this is a big one their support and customer service is not anything like eBay's eBay you know they don't have like a fantastic customer service system but it's much better than Facebook marketplaces so if you're dealing with some uh, shady buyers you know sometimes Facebook marketplace might not be as helpful but in my personal experience someone did tell me that their product never came and I was like dang I figured that it, I was just gonna have to eat that loss, you know, just refund them. But I went through and I just didn't refund them. I let Facebook support get involved with it. And Facebook actually paid for the product out of pocket. So I will give their support that while they are hard to reach and hard to talk to, they were very helpful in that circumstance. And the only other con I really have about Facebook Marketplace is their shipping discounts aren't anything like eBay's. eBay has a much better shipping discount, at least through USPS. I can't really speak for other services because I primarily use USPS to ship my products. Although I'm pretty sure Facebook doesn't even offer any sort of shipping discounts. So any discounts that eBay is giving is much better than what Facebook is giving. So you may want to consider that when listing your products maybe eBay is the better option if it's gonna be something expensive to ship that eBay gives a better discount for when shipping and lastly I just want to go over one quick tip I have if you are selling products and you're kind of like on the fence do you want to use Facebook marketplace or do you want to use eBay to list your products well what I recommend and what I personally do is cross posting so I post the same product on both Facebook marketplace and eBay now this can be a little risky, you have to make sure you're really on top of your game if you're gonna do this. Because if your product sells on one platform, you have to be sure you're able to go on the other platform. Like let's say it sells on Facebook Marketplace, you have to be able to go over to eBay and cancel your listing before someone else buys it on eBay. Because let's say I'm selling this notebook and I only have one of them. If it sells on Facebook Marketplace for $5, I'm like, all right, awesome, I'm gonna get ready to ship it. Then I forget to take it off eBay and it sells on eBay for $5 as well then I'm gonna have to cancel one of the orders and it's gonna hurt your seller reputation. That's something you don't wanna do because that can lead to higher fees on eBay at least, not sure about Facebook, and there'll just be a lower seller rating on both eBay and Facebook. Facebook is currently willing to take away people's shipping status, so you won't be able to let people order through shipping on Facebook Marketplace if you cancel too many orders, so you do wanna be wary of that and uh, not to have to cancel too many orders due to cross-posting and just laziness like that. Another thing I wanted to talk about when it came to cross-posting is that you may adjust your prices. So I see a lot of things on Facebook Marketplace actually selling for more than what they sell for on eBay because for a lot of the products that I've listed on Facebook Marketplace, I've had less competition than what I've seen on eBay. You know, eBay is very competitive, lots of sellers and less buyers. And Facebook Marketplace seems to be a little less competitive, at least for uh, a lot of products where there's more buyers but less sellers. So you can actually charge sometimes a little more on Facebook Marketplace on top of paying less in fees. But if you are cross-posting and you have a magic number in mind what you want to get for it, you can even consider posting it for less on Facebook Marketplace, just hoping to get the sale than you are gonna post for on eBay, just because of that difference in fees that you'll end up paying. So that right there just about wraps up the video. I really just wanted to let you guys know my plans and why I really am focusing in on Facebook Marketplace here in 2021. I wish I started sooner because these difference in fees is really a big deal and it can put a lot more money in your pocket if you just start selling on Facebook Marketplace than eBay. eBay is still really good, you know, I get a lot of sales on eBay still, but I have to charge slightly more for my products on eBay than I would on Facebook Marketplace just to achieve the same profits. So it's something to keep in mind whenever you're selling something, reselling, flipping, or even you're just selling an old item around your house. Just always keep your options in mind whether or not you think you should sell on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or even cross post. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I'm trying to get one out every Monday. Haven't been uploading all too frequently recently, but uh, hoping to change that soon. Peace.